poetry so important to humanity? As humans, we connect in many different ways. We text, we talk, we use social media. One of my favorite ways of communication is poetry. It allows me to express myself creatively. My first, today I'm gonna to show you this powerful communicative tool, my first, along with two spoken word pieces. My first piece, The Identity Thief, talks about how our external views and external selves are shaped. Some days, I'm just not myself. I'm the pinpoints on a map scattered all around, like various emotions on a silver platter, waiting for me to swallow my pride before my pride swallows me. The keeping track of my constantly moving location keeps me keeping underneath shadows behind her trees, even when there is light before me. The keeping up track of my emotions keeps me behind barriers before bodies so shamelessly happier than me. I sit and wonder sometimes if I am who I should be, whether my identity is really me. We are all born a tabula rosa, a blank slate turned canvas of messy art, painted with the sweat of our struggles, our tears of repeating tomorrows, the blood from our veins, some from picking up too many pieces of other glass canvases. They're so fragile, like vases. Yet I do not know if the pieces I take or taken so wrongly, or taken so lightly. You see, we're all copies. My outfit, this black dress, comes from seeing a girl wear black dresses for weeks. These shoes, the exact same my cousin once wore, just a size bigger to fit me. My whys, when I write, they curl at the edges because my old friend used to. My hair is my, is my own. My hair is long because my aunt tells me so to keep. My eyelashes are my own because I take it from my mother who tells me I should wear black eyeliner because the other girl she sees with it looks so pretty to her. The magazine tells me I should look more like somebody else. So I look in the mirror and pick at skin to look more like the girl that I want to be. This is not who we are. We are constantly taking little pieces of others beside us in order to just feel worthwhile. We are combinations, combinations of others, others taking pieces of us. It's no wonder we're all such messes, looking for answers in our mazes of confusion because people have our pieces, people we do not know may have them. People taking pieces of us, us taking pieces of them. We are not pieces of plastic waiting to be molded into something bigger. We are not jigsaw puzzles waiting to be put together by somebody else. I am who I am. I am human. So are you. I may be the pinpoints in a map scattered all around, but if you look close enough, I am in one spot. I am here. I am, you are human. So that was actually one of the examples of one of my poetry pieces. That was an example of how our external selves are viewed. But we all know there's more to our outsides. We also have our insides, literally. <laughs> Next, I'd like to show you a piece, Human Harmony, which talks about how our internal selves can be valued and how they do matter. I fear for humanity's sake, because our skin color does matter. Not to me, not to you, to everyone around us. Racist jokes about our own don't affect us, but hope your friends laugh and give you props above high fives in the schoolyard daytime. 
Jokes mean nothing, right? The woman on TV telling me, shooting cop incident. Young man put his hands up. Young man put his guards up. Young man's soul went up. He was of a different color of the cop's desire. Young man's weapon was thrown into the dirt years ago. He was unarmed, only armed with a broken smile. He wanted respect. They both wanted respect. We all wanted respect. All we got was fear. We are all one. Branches growing into the same tree. I know we will all end our lives facing the same way, the same final fate. Everyone, everyone we say that everyone is special. But if everyone is special, then maybe no one is actually special. So if there's endless fear between all of our connecting hearts, there's no actual segregation between our skin, bones, and lungs. We're breathing the same particles as everyone else. We all is one, growing from seeds. We were buried underneath, but we didn't tell anyone we like to be in the ground because when you're at the bottom, there is nowhere to go but up. We all is one, different branches growing into the same tree. We are the branches that grow tree trunks for the life and hope to teach. We must be humans in harmony. We as a generation have the dirt. Give them, our children, the chance to build upon it. But you have to get your hands dirty in order to plant something. We're all flowers wilting away. And when our seasons do not match our heavy centers, they're not always strong enough for the sun. So sometimes rain will wash them away. You and I are not the same. Same is identical. And honey, you are sweeter than I. But our lungs will both collapse one day, and we are all breathing and both sick of listening to the news on TV saying the young man has died, but the cop had undone more than a chokehold and the young man's dreams that were shattered the moment he said, I can breathe. Just breathe. Everyone take a moment to just breathe. We're all sitting here in a human harmony, full of diversity, but yet we are together. We are layered the same way. Skin and bones growing and shattering our tongues, speaking of wishes and dreams, us fearing together. I will fear nothing with the strength of our human harmony. Poetry is a really helpful communicative tool. It allows you to express yourself both externally and internally, which I've showed you today. There's one thing you must know about poetry, though. It must come from you. And I hope that I have inspired you to go out and explore poetry, spoken word, maybe try some on your own.